Meyer locations like this one behind me are getting ready for a large increase in patients. The Federal Aviation Administration reported that this year there is over 4,000 unruly customer reports, with around 3,000 of those being mask related. Resident assistants are using their creative brains for their new informational boards. Thousands of MSU students are coming back to campus, but instead of seeing lots of green, they should expect to see a lot of white. More than 600 gatherings like the one we see here in Lansing are happening throughout the United States. They follow Texas's anti-abortion bill, which bans abortions after six weeks and was passed last month. As you can see right now behind me, not the bicycle, they are currently in the second phase of their four-phase plan. It's a hot one out today and I am here in downtown Okemos with an update on the Village of Okemos project and others. There are a couple of updates after the public hearing for minor amendments held on July 7th. After being unable to hold a show last year, Michigan's largest model train show was back on track and with over 3,000 people in attendance. With colder temperatures on the way, people are getting out to the trails to bike, exercise, and get some fresh air before winter and snow come. Music, video games, and basketball. Members of the community had a ball trying to see how many baskets they could make. While that sound might bring rage into the heart of some drivers, attendees at Michigan's largest train show and sale gathered November 14th to share in their love of trains. I'm 50 years old and I've been in a train since I was probably five years old. So this has been a lifelong passion for me. Sponsored by the Lansing Model Railroad Club, admission was $6 to the public and free for children under 12 in scouts in uniform. And masks were required. The event had 500 vendor tables and a room with displays where attendees could find handmade works like Ben Feldkamp's. I built all my own scenery and most of my train cars. And this is my fifth show here in uh, Lansing. Really enjoy it, good people, lots of traffic, looking at my display and it's fun. After being unable to hold a show last year, Michigan's largest model train show was back on track and with over 3,000 people in attendance. The crowd was full of people from all ages and attendee Jeff Smith said these kind of activities were perfect for families. Just fortunate that we have facilities like this and places that uh, model train shows can come together so that families can make this a generational thing. Jeff's son, Ellis, wasn't interested in my camera, but he couldn't take his eyes off the trains. And that's what this event is all about, bringing generations together for their love of trains. At the MSU Pavilion, Elena Cugino, Focal Point News. The Capitol building was packed on Saturday, October 2nd for the March for Abortion Justice Rally, hosted by My Body, My Choice. The event had speakers including Senator Debbie Stabenow, State Representative Sarah Anthony, and more. After the speakers came the march, where signs were displayed and people shouted, My Body. But Michigan was not the only state to have an abortion justice rally. More than 600 gatherings like the one we see here in Lansing are happening throughout the United States. They follow Texas's anti-abortion bill, which bans abortions after six weeks and was passed last month. Community organizer Chelsea Julian said this issue is not new in Michigan. It's important because we actually have a law from 1931 in the state of Michigan that is uh, that makes abortion, performing an abortion, a felony. And it's only deemed, you know, it's only inactive right now because of Roe v. Wade. So if that gets overturned, it could be enforced. And so, especially here in Michigan, we are really at risk for our rights being taken, <laughs> essentially. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services reported that in 2020, there were around 29,000 induced abortions. And some people attending the rally, like Kim Huvener, were there to offer support. I just pray for everyone that women have our rights back. Keep our rights. This is our body. My body is my choice, you know, and it's their body and their choice. That's all. While some people opposed to abortion rallied across the street, attendees of the event hoped politicians and those in power would hear their voices as they march. In Lansing, Elena Cugino, Home TV. Hello everyone and welcome to the 2021 Year in Review show. I'm Elena Cugino. Time to talk about TikTok, which is not the sound your clock makes, but an app where people of all ages make videos for thousands to millions of viewers. Staying in school for this next story, so get those pencils ready. Katie Schroeder is back and she talked with Michigan Education Association spokesperson David Cram in August about the upcoming current school year and a teacher shortage crisis. 